Good morning, everyone. This is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. Today is Friday, February 4th, and looking at today's economic calendar, there's going to be a number that's released at 8.30, and that's right down here, non-farm payrolls, month to month. And this number is expected to be down from last month's, and it could even come in less than this 150,000 uh, jobs forecast. This report is coming fast on the heels of Wednesday's ADP employment report that showed 300,000 fewer jobs, according to the ADP payroll report. These two reports, putting them together, are leading economic indicators. Uh, looking at today's news, flags are, well, mixed, but S&P futures are generally flat, nothing other than that, that to report, that plus Facebook's miserable earnings day be, the day before. At, at any rate, moving over to our micro e-mini chart. Now, this is yesterday's micro e-mini. This is Thursday's trading. And on Thursday, let me just pan back to uh, Wednesday. Now, this is, this is Wednesday, February 2nd. And you'll notice... Uh, the prices tracked within our trading zone and came up to our resistance level. And right after the market closed, Facebook came out with this lousy earnings report and the market tanked. And by the way, this is a reason that you should not trade uh, after hours because these earnings reports that come out, they can tend to move the market. Sometimes uh, they have a big effect that can wipe out uh, a good bit of your capital. Do not trade after hours. At any rate, moving along to yesterday, Thursday, the trading zone is calculated based on price action during the regular trading session. So therefore, it did not take into account the steep drop caused by the Facebook report. But nevertheless, that doesn't make our uh, trading zone calculations any less useful. Uh, if you recall, I said yesterday, well, if you saw my video yesterday, I said that there's going to be a, a big gap at the open, and that gap, although gaps tend to close 70 to 75% of the time, the gap yesterday would probably not close. Uh, you can reference my previous video to find out why, or maybe you already know. But nevertheless, the gap didn't close, and the trading zone, being way up here, was absolutely useless to help us determine where the market was going to go yesterday. Now remember, the most important thing you want to know as a trader, where's the market going to go today? That's the question every single day. Well, the trading zone is still valuable. You see, the trading zone not only gives us a, a number for a support and resistance, it also gives us a range. Now, what I do in days like this, where I'd like to know the likely area where the market would trade, and it's way, way outside of my trading zone, what I do is I use an old Indian trick. I don't know whether it's an old Indian trick, but that's an expression that they have out west. And what I do is I take my trading zone, I wait till a good way through the morning session to see whether the market has traded, has put in an intraday high or low. And if it puts in an intraday high, as it did here, at about 11 o'clock yesterday, what I do is I take my trading zone and I clone it. I clone it and what I do is I move it down to, I move my resistance, I make the, the shoe fit the foot, I move my resistance number up at the, right at the intraday high. And this was about at 11, 11.30 where I did this. And of course, the, these numbers, these candles had not been printed then. And I see my trading zone is calculating, is showing me a likely point of the market trading down to 44.71. You can see that the market traded exactly down to our support level down here at 44.71, according to the way the range predicted. So that's the old Indian trick in how to use the trading zone, but you have to know that what the trading zone numbers are. And most days the market trades within the zone, you don't, we don't have to transpose. Nevertheless, uh, the market immediately after the close, Amazon announced its numbers. No surprise to anyone, or it shouldn't have been. Uh, Amazon has been beating the pants off 
uh, everyone else in, in retail, in web services, you name it. So prices spiked up. Wow. Really well, really well, right? And all the people who, uh, all the people who uh, uh, were surprised one way, or the, one way or the other, either they lost big or they won big. But nevertheless, the market today is trading, is opening right where it closed, right where it closed. So the good news that Amazon earnings report had on prices made no difference in terms of where the market is going to likely open up today. At any rate, um, the people who've enrolled in my uh, Trading Zone subscription service already have the numbers for today. Uh, so uh, that's that. If you want to get these numbers each day, enroll or subscribe rather to my uh, Trading Zone subscription service and you'll receive these numbers each day. It's not expensive, well worth it. And it answers the question, where is the market likely to trade today? At any rate, uh, this is my rising for Timeless Dollar. I won't keep you any longer. It's about oh, an hour and a half before market opens. Remember, that uh, payroll number is going to move the market, but it comes in an hour before the market opens. So nevertheless, just keep your eye on it. Trading is likely to be, um, mm, I, I, would, I was going to say choppy, but I think it's going to be negative today. But then again, what I think is meaningless, we have to see what the market what the market predicts, what the market does. Uh, trade safe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Marv Eisen from Time to Stop.